Chris here with Chris Cross Crash. I just got the Axiom AR8 Pro V5. Man, this thing went together so simple. It has built such quality. Want to see how I did it? Hold tight and check this out. Well, I had that thing delivered to my work, and they let me borrow the delivery truck to get it home. Man, look at that. Not me, the machine. So I got the stand unboxed, got everything kind of laid out with the wheels put on. I'm still putting all the parts together. As you can see, it comes well built, well assembled. And the beauty of the Axiom is every single machine that goes out of their facility is unboxed and tested at the facility. So you know you're getting a machine that works when it comes to your door. They repackage everything and get everything locked in nice. Yeah, that's me actually looking at the owner's manual. I've learned years ago, at least glance at it because, man, I'll tell you, it doesn't take much for anything to go wrong if you miss a step. So just getting the wheels kind of screwed on. Those casters, by the way, are extremely heavy duty. And with a couple fingers, you can push this big old heavy machine around, no problem. I'm driving in the uh, leveling bolts here, and I found it easier to actually use a, a drill to drill those down, get them close. Now I'm going through all the multitude of hardware, kind of sorting all that out. Very easy to send it, by the way. And ideally, I probably should have put something underneath there uh, to support that, but it really wasn't that heavy whenever I was kind of doing this. It's, so far, it's still a fairly easy job for one person to do. All right, so I invited mom and dad over and said, hey, uh, come help me move this. Sort of crew to my daughter as well. And my wife just watched. She made sure we did it right. So we got that thing on the stand, no problem. Definitely not a one-person job, so get, get some help. Have a pizza party or something. Free labor. Anyway, got everything put together. Now we're going to run, run the cables where they go. And I will say, I wish that the cables were just a little longer. I could have routed those a little differently. I didn't like how I ended up doing that. Uh, but I zip tied those up just to get them off the ground. And if I'd have had them a little longer, I could have routed them a little different. Anyway, now to get the stepper motors installed, if they take the bolts off that are already pre-installed on the machine, and you want to make sure to get that coupler lined up uh, properly so that it rests on the flat area of the shaft. Thankfully, I found a long screwdriver to get those the bulk of the way in. Put the housing back on top. And boom, check out that water pump. Built-in water pump and reservoir, which is amazing. Uh, that's really what drives that water-cooled spindle. No bucket needed. Plug it in. Turn it on and we have power. That's the home screen. Every time you turn it on, it will ask you to home all. Do that. Once it homes, that's a reference point so that it knows that it's uh, at its far front and left position. After that, it makes everything easy to orient for the rest of your jobs. Now to get the dust boot installed, if you don't have dust collection, you're wasting your time. And listen how quiet this is. Can you hear me now? Listen how quiet that is. Wow. Now to get that thing leveled up. Get it front, level front to back, side to side. Tool drop. So good. 
Now to get that jam that tightened up. This is the one thing I wish maybe could have been a little bit better, is this whole big beefy machine is resting on these feet. Wish they were a little thicker. No flex whatsoever. Fantastic. So I mounted my trim on there. 0.1085. Move around to the side. 0 0.1085. 0.1085. Out of the box. This sucker is perfect. Here I'm just running a V bit around the border. I always like to know where my perimeter is. This gives you an idea so you know exactly where things lay. Well, here it is. The parking spot has been filled with the Axiom AR8 Pro. Uh, man, I'll tell you, I really liked my Shark, but there were a few things I needed. One, I needed to be able to use a half-inch shank bit pretty aggressively. And two, I wanted a water-cooled spindle. And the only downside with the Shark water-cooled spindle, it was only quarter-inch shank availability. So. Uh, due to the production needs that I needed for some of the jobs that I've got, I stepped on up to this, and man, I'll tell you, I absolutely love it. Uh, it's got a lot of features. It's got 40-watt stepper motors. Um, it's got the three-horsepower water-cooled spindle, and it's got a built-in reservoir inside it as well as a pump, so it's all built into the unit. Very solid, uh, heavy-duty stand, heavy-duty table, uh, man, and this thing had zero flex on it. Uh, nice size uh, cutting capacity. This is really going to do me well. Operated by a controller. We'll have some more information coming soon as far as when I'm using it. But pay attention, man. I'll tell you what, I absolutely love this thing. I can't wait to throw a project on there and get rolling. Well, here it is my Axiom AR8 Pro. Welcome to the family, friend. There will be no social distancing with this thing. All right, let's check out the features. Look at that big control box. Got a massive fan in there to keep things cool for those long running projects. And there's that pendant. Man, that thing is full of features and functions, man. Makes your job easy to set up and run. Look at that beefy threaded rod. That, that is just amazing, that ball screw is massive. Of course, the dust boot, ready for that four inch. There's that three horsepower water-cooled spindle. Man, quiet and powerful for sure. There's a the little touch plate on top. Let's check out underneath. Don't laugh at my jet dust collector. That's a booster dust collector for underneath there. Heavy duty stand. Massive wire track in there to keep the wires and cables safe. And another big old ball screw underneath for that Y axis. No movement. This thing is built like a tank. And of course that spoil board comes pre-installed. pre, pre -installed. Lots of T-Track for hold downs. Axiom Precision at its finest. I love it. Go get yours. Let's just make this official.